hey, Dr. Alardi, tell me what I should do. How can I improve? How can I maybe address my depression or some of these other mental health challenges with omega-3s? So here we go. 1,000 milligrams per day of EPA is a psychoactive dose. It is the dose that has been most heavily studied and research supported as an antidepressant drug, basically. So yeah, we don't normally think of food as a drug, but a thousand milligrams of EPA within high quality fish oil acts like an antidepressant drug. And there have been roughly 500 published studies of antidepressant medications 500 of, med, of meds, of antidepressant meds. And there have been about 15 high quality <laughs> published studies of fish oil. Why? Well, you know, there's, there's not as much money to be made. And, but uh, these 15 high quality studies of EPA for depression suggest that when you compare the effect to a pill placebo, that's the gold standard, right? You always wanna have a clinical control. The effect size, the, the magnitude of the improvement in depression with omega-3 so far, based on the evidence we have so far, is larger than the magnitude of improvement that we see with medication. And that's pretty extraordinary. Now, there's more evidence that there is a subtype, a subset of people with depression whose depression is really characterized by high inflammation. And as you might guess, those depressed individuals will have a bigger response on average to the omega-3, right? In other words, the omega-3 is targeting one possible mechanism and driver of depression, but it's not the only one. So for example, if somebody's depression is being driven by lack of sunlight and their body clock is, is all wonky and the circadian rhythms are shifted, they have what we would call winter onset or seasonal affective disorder, well, the omega-3 may or may not be very helpful. They, they may have a much bigger effect to a therapeutic light box, right? So we always wanna target the underlying driver or mechanism. It turns out there's a pretty simple blood test for inflammation called C-reactive protein. If folks wanna to talk to their, or CRP sometimes we call it, if folks wanna to talk to their doctor and say, hey, can I get a blood test to see if I have high levels of inflammation to know whether or not the omega-3 supplement is, is more likely to have a really massive impact on my depression, on my anxiety, on my ADHD. But here's what, what we know. Most people with depression, most people with ADHD, and many people with anxiety are low in their circulating levels of omega-3. So for them, this can be really beneficial. Okay, so we're not talking about a thousand milligrams of fish oil. We're talking about a thousand milligrams of EPA. 